Hello everyone, welcome in my channel ASP.NETCore. Today I am going to show you the next video tutorial of uh, Blazor that is uh, add it and create a new employee in uh, using Blazor. So first of all create a Razor page, a Razor component and uh, the second one you have to create a employee uh, component based class. Okay, so in the component based class uh, you want in the what uh, function use uh, for the edit and to create the same thing if your employee ID is zero then uh, must to have uh, you add a new employee if your uh, ad, uh, employee ID is one in the parameter there must to use edit function applied on that so uh, here you have to use add the red page add the red page for the two times uh, for the first thing employee edit you have to use save function or use uh, you uh, you can say that is the first line of the directive that is at the red page employee edit is used for uh, create a new employee and the second page directive is used with the parameter that is ID and uh, you can use ID uh, for your uh, edit function or you can say update employee existing data so in the edit form you have uh, in the employee uh, model you have three uh, fields like uh, id name and the city so id is not altered uh, during the whole session or uh, you have to say uh, name and city will change so uh, the input text in a razor pages you, uh, you have to use input pages instead of input okay so input text and the value is bind with the two-way binding that is bind value okay and the city is also so uh, the razor space will um, complete in the component based class uh, must to use the first thing is the employee uh, model where employee uh, is initialized with the initialized employee property with the object now after that um, we have to use in the razor page employee at the rate of employee dot name and employee dot city okay you know very well how to bind in the two-way binding because that is already completed in the, my previous video tutorial so the second thing you have to use parameter and the third thing you have to use inject uh, because in inject you have to use data services where your actual data stored so I employee repo and here you have to use employee repo okay nice the third thing you have to use employee ID as a parameter so ID parameter you have to use and the fourth parameter you have to use override own initialized method where uh, your employee will initialize uh, null values for the uh, for a new uh, employee added I mean to say that for the create uh, method and the parameter you have to use ID so employee if uh, employees report dot get by ID and uh, ID is their integer type so must to change in the string type so int dot parse ID okay that's cool now uh, you have to check employee repo and uh, I employee repo we have only uh, two methods and you you can add uh, insert update and delete method also in your employee uh, I employee repo interface as well as the repo so delete and update employee EMP 
now also update your uh, employee repo class so implement interface employee repo now uh, in the delete function you have to use uh, underscore context dot employees dot remove emp okay and also the context dot save changes and in the get uh, in the insert method you have to use underscore context dot employees dot add employee and uh, and uh, save changes you can separate your uh, save changes method in a different method okay so underscore context dot employees dot update employee emp and contact dot save changes okay that's nice and uh, your repo and the interface uh, clear now in the base class you have to use three another uh, variable public string status equals status class equals to uh, that variable is used where your uh, in the bootstrap you have to use in the bootstrap uh, where your color will changed of the division section and the masses is used string dot empty and a boolean property where your screen will navigate with the empty data so bool and saved okay so here we have three uh, variable save equals to false false on initialize method by default okay and uh, if id um, so first of all change the id property uh, by using int dot try parse uh, id uh, out variable employee id okay now id is converted into the employee id so if emp id is double equals to zero then what you have to create a new employee so employee equals to new employee with the city zero uh, blank spaces and the name also will blank spaces okay that's fine now and else if your employee id is not zero i mean to save one so you have to use that with the parameter you you get uh, the single employee okay now the third thing you have to use this button to use for the submit button value submit that thing is submit and also handle on validate submit function uh, and the, in the model you have to use employee and on valid submit equals to handle submit is the method name they read handle submit okay that's nice when we click on the submit button that is on valid submit will call uh, the uh, with the method uh, handle submit so protected uh, async and task handle submit and the finally you have to use if your ID or you can say that employee ID instead of ID property so employee dot id is zero if your employee id is zero you have to create a new employee so you, you can call your repo para, uh, repo methods by using their inject uh, dependencies like employee repo dot insert here you have to insert employee okay and uh, because the way two way binding is there and in the message you have to use saved new employee and also change the status class 
is that uh, alert success okay and uh, else if id parameter is not zero i mean to say that there is any one value like one two three and four so uh, employee report dot update will um, update method will call for that uh, that uh, thing so the same thing you have to copy and paste it here so ins uh, you have to use insert uh, update it here update method will call and in this uh, update new employee okay that's fine now after that you can use the saved uh, boolean property if saved i mean to say that if your save value uh, have mm, to false then uh, the form will appear if your saved value true then div section will happen okay so with the class alert and the status class and in the in which you have to use message okay that's fine it's cool and there is now you have to run your also mm, change the saved value a boolean value in uh, handle submit method true also true because both are the uh, transactional operation in your database so both uh, are hold the same uh, status class so you have to check employee edit if you call employee edit then uh, you have to enter your new employee employee city uk city submit click yeah saved a new employee you have to uh, parameterized the same thing will happen but the data jacob new york city update new employee if you call the previous uh, session that is employee overview uh, razor page employee overview where your three names is there joy smith and jacob so thank you guys for watching this video and keep watching all other videos which is related to asp.net called blazer and i will provide you better video tutorial of blazer in the later session because uh, uh, projects are also there uh, to making in blazer so uh, guys keep watching all other videos and don't forget please subscribe my channel and uh, share uh, your video Share this video on your uh, Facebook, WhatsApp and Twitter accounts and like this video if you like this. Please, please, please subscribe my channel. Thank you very much for watching this video.